back to the YouTube channel of Pro Enzo Vids, and this is my Betfred Super League uh, tips for 2022. Uh, first time adding this to the channel because I didn't have this last year or, or any other years on the channel. So, um, yeah, you know, change the content up a, a little bit and uh, adding some Super League content might be actually good. And, uh, you know, obviously, um, I know the Super League pretty well. I've watched it for like a couple of years now and I, and I have a pretty good understanding on the players over there and what teams are like over in England, etc. So yeah, it's the very first time I'll be doing an actual tipping video on the Super League because uh, the Super League kicks off uh, kicks off in um, on Friday morning. Well, here in Australia it'll be Friday morning, but over there in England it'll be night. Uh, so it'll be like eight at eight o'clock when this game, when the first game starts of Super League for 2022. So um, yeah, very keen for it. You know, um, should be a good season, I hope. And uh, yeah, I reckon it's time to rip into my tips. Um, so yeah, I'd like to say one more thing before I start, um, just quickly, thank you for, um, those new subscribers who got me to 1,400 subscribers. I know I kind of brag on a little bit about this, which is, you know, I shouldn't do it too much, but just want to say thank you because I've got to 1,400 subscribers a bit earlier than expected. So thank you to those who did subscribe and new people did live much appreciated, but, uh, yeah, to get into the tips now. So the first game is uh, my team in St. Helens, and by the way, I'm not a bandwagon. I've supported St. Helens since 2017, so I'm no, I'm no bad, bad, no bandwagon. So, so just so you guys know, and the, the version of the Catalan Dragons. So this is basically a 2021 Grand Final rematch. Um, unfortunately, I can't find the teams anywhere. Like I can't really find the teams quite yet. I don't, I don't know if they're out yet or not. But um, anyway, I'll just do it like this for now, and then next week I'll um, find. Yeah, the team list to make it the, the quality of the video a bit better. But um, yeah, Saints vs. Dragons. Um, you know, I, I think this will be a very good game. It's a great game to open up the season because obviously to it's, it's a grand final rematch, obviously. So, you know, that you always expect that to be a pretty big game. Um, you know, I think uh, Saints, my boys, you know, they look pretty good heading into this year. Got a couple of new recruits in Curtis Siren, sorry, Curtis Siren and uh, Wop Whitey, um, you know. It, losing Lachlan Coote is going to be a bit tough, but they, you know, they've got Jack Wellsby, he's a young fullback who I think is the future of the club, so I hope he goes pretty well when he plays for us and that. Um, but yeah, you know, I think um, the Dragons also, the Caroline Dragons, they've also recruited pretty well. Mitchell Pierce is a big buy, he's a great buy, replacing James Maloney, who's, who's the part of the club, so I think it's a very good pickup up by the Dragons there, and they've still got a pretty strong side, you know, got uh, Bass Quitt, um, you know, the whole team stacked the quality, basically, and you know, I'm interested to see how Dylan Napa goes going over there. Dylan Napa is a very interesting buy for that uh, Catalan's Dragons team, so we'll see how he goes and all that. But um, yeah, uh, for my tip for this game, I will back St. Helens to win. Only just, not by a big scoreline, but I think we'll just do enough to win. So I will back St. Helens to win 26 points to 16. Uh, first try scorer, I'll, I'll back in Regan Grace for first. Oh no, Regan Grace is out, sorry. You know, he won't be playing. So um, actually, I'll, I'll back in... Um, What's his name? I'll, I'll back in Tommy Mackinson for first try, the other winger. So I think he'll score a try. And I believe man the match will be Johnny Lomax. That's my tip for the very first game of 2022 between the Dragons and the St. Helens side. Uh, moving on to Friday. And it's uh, two games. Obviously, it's Hull KR versus the Wigan Warriors. And it's the Castleford Tigers versus the uh, Salford Red Devils. So uh, going through the Hull KR versus Wigan uh, side game uh, first. Um... Yeah, the Robins, however you want to put it, you know, they're, they're looking pretty strong this year. They've obviously made a couple of great recruits in Lock and Coon, like, for example, like I said before. Uh, got a very strong side at full strength. Uh, it's a very dangerous team at full strength, the whole KR, and, you know, I think they're going to be very, very tough to beat this year. I think they'll um, definitely make top six, in my opinion. If you uh, saw my uh, 2022 Betfred Super League predictions um, the other week or something. Um, so they'll be very tough to beat this year, and I think they'll be really good. Um, as for Wigan, you know, Wigan are sort of had a mix off season because of obviously the Bevan French situation where he has to go back to, um, back, what's it, back to Australia because of, um, his, uh, mum or something had, was sick. So, you know, I guess that's kind of going to affect him a little bit, unfortunately, but he's back in England now, so he should be fine to play the season. Uh, losing Jack Jackson Hastings and Oliver Gilda both to the Tigers in, this, in the NRL would be a pretty big losses because I thought they were both good for, um, the Warriors actually. So losing them is going to be a bit tough. Um, but yeah, they've still got a quality team, in my opinion. It's got, it's got John Bateman, Kay Cousins, the right by, uh, replacing Hastings, so we'll see how that goes. But look, overall, it's still a pretty solid side, I reckon. There's still a lot of quality in that team, and I still think there's enough to make them still a contending sort of team. Uh, my tip for this game, I will go for the Hull KR to win. Uh, not by a lot either. This will be a very tight game. I think Hull KR will win 
roughly 20 points to 10 or 20 points to 12, one of those sort of score lines, but I'll go 20 points to 12 by eight points um, for Hard Clang to win. So that's my tip there. Moving on to the next game, it's our other Friday game. It's the Castle for Tigers versus the Salford Red Devils. And this uh, will be uh, apparently live on TV over there, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, yeah, look, you know, both teams have... Look, I'm not very high on both teams. You see, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not really high on both set teams. You know, I think both teams are sort of going to be struggling a little bit across the season. You know, Castleford have actually, you know, they, they look okay on paper, I reckon, the Tigers. But, again, I can't trust them fully. I don't think they'll do anything amazing this year. As for uh, Salford, you know, Salford have also recruited pretty well. I think with Tim Laffey going into the club and, you know, they've made some pretty smart pickups and Danny Levi from the Broncos and, and also, just having players like, you know, uh, Sizalaki Akawala, I think that's how I say it. Yeah, he's a great prop. He'll be great for the club this year and all that. So, look, overall, it's a pretty decent team. And Castleford have great players as well. You know, they've got uh, Paul McShane and all that. So, it's not bad. Um, but my tip for this game, I will back in... Um, I will back in Salford to win, only just as well. I think Salford will just win. I mean, you can go... You, you can flip a coin and, you know... You know, it's one of those football coins points for the games. So, I will say Salford to win, but I'm not confident, though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't lock it in, though. So, Salford to win, maybe 16 or... eight No, 18 points to 16. Yeah, make it that. Two-point score line. Now, this uh, Saturday matches. I've uh, got Rhino, Leeds Rhinos versus Warrington Wolves. And we've got uh, Toulouse Olympic versus the Huddersfield Giants for the Saturday. So, um, yeah, R Leeds Rhinos versus Warrington Wolves is the first game. Um... You know, Rhinos look very strong this year, especially with Aiden, Aiden Caesar and Blake Austin as their halves. I think that's going to be very dangerous. You know, a couple of years ago, about six or five years ago now, they were, them two were one of the best NRL halves combinations back in the NRL of the Raiders back in 2016. So can they replicate that same form coming into the Super League and playing for Leeds? Have to wait and see. But um, yeah, that's going to be very dangerous, I think. I think that's going to be really dangerous. And I really think, you know, Leeds look good for the, good for the year. Um, you know, they're, they're a pretty quality team. They're stacked. Uh, going to be very dangerous, and I think, you know, we're going to expect some big things to Leeds this year. They're, gonna def they're definitely going to contend for a championship and definitely contend for the title, that's for sure. Um, as for the Warriors and the Wolves, you know, the Wolves are also looking pretty good this year. Again, you know, again, this year's, you know, hopefully this year they don't choke like they do with other seasons, but that's the way I see. But, you know, George Williams is a big buyer. Or, you know, he's been there for a couple of, uh, well, he's been there for about a year or something now. He hasn't been there for um yeah too long um but still like i think it'll be a good um uh, be good for the warrington wolves george williams you know he's also been uh always a he's, he also played for the raiders and he's always been a quality player george williams in my opinion so he should go well for the warrington wolves this year and i do think he's a great contender for the men of still this year in my opinion um i guess losing jake and mamos be a big loss because he went to the cast of the tigers jake and mamos so that's a bit of a loss as well losing him at the same time um, but look, both teams are pretty much uh, title heavyweights, so it should be a good battle. But for this game, I will tip the Rhinos to win by about 10 to 12 points, maybe. So I'm saying maybe 24 points to 12 or, you know, 22 points to 10, you know, one of those sort of score lines. So either way, it leads to win, that's what I would say. Now, um, this is a bit interesting game because, you know, a new side, you see coming into the Super League versus seeing the Giants who've rebuilt pretty well. Um, so this is the other Saturday game on Sky Sports over there in England. It's Toulouse Olympic versus the Huddersfield Giants. Um, now, I'll, I'll keep it pretty short and sweet here. I don't know much about Toulouse. I don't know much about their players. The only players I really know from Toulouse are Mark Carella. Um, that's how you say his last name, I'm pretty sure. Um, I only know players like Tony Giggett and, uh, and Dominic Peyrou. So that's the only players I really know from the Toulouse Olympic side. So... Yeah, there's a lot of unknowns in that team, but hopefully that they can all play pretty well once they're on the field and playing. Uh, as for the Huddersfield Giants, you know, I'm I'm actually a bit of a believer in the Giants this year. I, you know, really like what they're building this year. Um, when they're on, they're on. You know, hopefully they can keep the, all their key players in the field, and they'll definitely go well. And that so. This is an interesting game, but I'll keep it very short and sweet, like I said. I think the Giants will win just because of more experience and they're more known rather than what the uh, Toulouse Olympic are. Hopefully, Toulouse go well, but you know, I just think Huddersfield will get the win here. And now the final game of Round 1 to wrap off the Super League for Round 1 of 2022, it's Wakefield Trinity versus Hull FC, so the Black and Whites versus the Wakefield Trinity side. Um, yeah, look, Wakefield Trinity... I don't really rate them this year at all, to be honest. I think they're a team that's going to struggle, unfortunately. Um, they've got some all right players. I think Dave Fafita's a good player. Kalibi Tanganoa, they're all pretty good uh, forwards. Um, 
you know, they, they don't have a bad squad overall, I reckon. I think they do have a, a good team, and, you know, there's players in there that I think can stand out across the season, but won't do enough to make them anything big in 2022. As for Hull FC, um, Hull FC are a great side, don't get me wrong, but it's just that they're very inconsistent. Uh, once they lose a big name, and, you know, once they lose a big name, like I said, and, you know, that's pretty much... The, like, once they lose a big name or a couple of big names, they don't perform often. So that's, that's the issue of Hull FC, the black and whites. Um, Jay Connor is going to be missing for this game, which is a big blow. I think he broke his hand or something. So losing Jay Connor is just a huge blow because he's obviously one of the best players in the Super League, and that's going to hurt um, Hull FC quite a bit. Um, but, yeah, for this game, I will still tip Hull FC despite that. I still think, you know, I can trust them slightly more than what I can with Wakefield. And, um, yeah, Hull FC will get the win here, I reckon. I'm pretty confident in saying that by about uh, 16 or 14 points at best. But, everyone, that's my Super League tips for round one for 2022. Thanks for watching. Um, next time, we'll try and get the actual team lists up so I know who's playing and who's not playing and all that. So that's why I'll make sure for next time for round two. But, yeah, everyone, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you all in the very next video.